Audience retention is how much of a video people watch before getting bored. Very few people watch 100%. I studied a lot of channels in my previous video, but giving a channel an average rating is like trying to describe a movie in one word. Let's look at my two main channels in depth. With Two Clicks Philip, as the video length increases, the average percentage of the video that people will watch goes down. Expected. The exception to this is How Will He Die, which bores people more quickly. But the average for this boring series is still 54%, which is actually the same as the average for all of my videos on my channel. If my least interesting series is still performing averagely, what's dragging down the average audience retention? The answer? My most successful series, Going Low in CSGO. It's the most subscribed to, most watched, and highest budget video series that I make, and yet the latest series averages out at below 50% audience retention, simply because the videos are long at almost 10 minutes each. In conclusion, extremely short and long videos will have great values for one of the two audience retention figures, but the other will suffer as a result. Videos of middling length will have a compromise of both. With Three Clicks Philip, the main series all have above average viewing ratings for both audience retention values. To work out what's pushing down the average, we have to look elsewhere, at the individual videos. This is where this screen comes in handy and the top two videos show it beautifully, especially since they're one-off videos. One has a large percentage being watched but a short length, and the other has a long length and a tiny percentage being watched. From this, I can see that if I wanted to improve my audience retention figures, I should probably stick to the same series and types of videos rather than making these one-off specials that tend to be either very long or very short. Bear in mind that this average retention is only for the last 28 days. I took a look at mine monthly and it looks like this. Evidently there's a lot of variation as time goes on, depending on the type and number of videos that I'm releasing. Good news is that it's a lot better than it was a year ago. Bad news is that both channels have dropped off in the last few months. Why? Let's pick some interesting points and work out what happened. The simplest thing would be to check which videos were released on days when the retention changed a lot. The problem is that some videos become popular after being released, so instead I'll study the number of views per day. Might as well start with this channel. Ignore the bit at the beginning, that's a horrible, horrible glitch. The first spike coincides with the first day of my How To Finish Projects video, which managed 42% of that day's views. Despite very positive figures, it only changed one day before returning to pretty much normal. This downward spike was likely caused by my Armour 3 interactive map project, where I uploaded about 100 videos showing the massive island from a number of locations. It wasn't very well received and didn't exactly do my audience retention any favours. This graph only shows the viewing length and not the percentage of the entire thing, so bigger isn't always better. For example, this spike was caused by me releasing a 20 minute long Splinter Cell Blacklist video. People watched it for over 6 minutes, but the percentage was just 25%. Another example of an extreme video performing well in one way, but not in another. It's all well and good picking out individual days, but what I really want to know are the long term changes. How about this upwards trend here? The first day of it coincided with my release of my 10 reasons why CSGO is better than its rivals video, one that has gained 350,000 views since its release, making it my second most popular video released since 2011. Its consistently high viewing figures, together with high audience retention values, explain why this has helped with the lasting jump in this graph, but that's my second most viewed video. You'd think that my most popular one, Quest for Karambit, would make even more of an impact. Guess when that was released? It was here. Why doesn't anything change? It's because the average time it's watched for is 2 minutes 40 seconds, which happens to be exactly what the average for my channel was before it was released. It wouldn't have fluctuated up or down even if this video was watched a billion times. The only difference it might make should it get enough views is that the fluctuation after its release would be less. Imagine if 99% of my views on my channel were of a video where people watch for 2 minutes 40 seconds. It wouldn't jump up and down as much. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that random fluctuations are a good thing. It means that there's a huge variety of videos influencing it and that you're not just relying on a couple of cash cow videos to drive your channel. The Willy Bum Bum channel probably has a very consistent average retention since it's all coming from the same video. But that, of course, depends on whether a video gets the same audience retention value on the day of release as it does a year later. I quickly checked with Quest for Karambit and it does appear to go down with age probably because people only go back to look at specific parts of it, or because imitating videos come out and reduce the appeal of watching the original all the way through. And just to satisfy your curiosity, 
This large dip on T-Clicks Philip was caused by a short but very popular video called Where Was I Supposed To Shoot? and the peak at the end of December was from my new Going Low In CSGO video. Despite an average view duration on that day of 4 minutes 49, the average percentage was still 58%. The video itself was higher than that but was weighed down by everything else on my channel. And let's end with the audience retention of my previous audience retention video. Conclusion? Eerily similar to the average for my channel as a whole. Note that there's no tail at the end. People tend to click off the moment they sense a video is about to end, so I deliberately cut it off early. And this is where things get interesting, because this video has now ended. I'm hoping for a proper tail to this one. You have to decide whether you want to defy the tail by watching it to the bitter end, or if you want to get on and watch that interesting related video that has boobs for a thumbnail. I'll let you decide. Or you could replay these last 10 seconds several times and ruin everything. You monster. And cut.